Hi guys, welcome to my video review of Subtle Beauty's Riveting Red Lip and Cheek Color. I've been looking forward to making this video and have been so busy the last couple weeks, I just didn't have the chance. But today I'm going to uh, put on my base foundation with Subtle Beauty and then I'm going to show you guys a Riveting Red, which I'm really excited about because I have kind of looked for a true red lip color over the last few years and never felt like it fit my skin tone very well. So I'm really hoping that Riveting Red will kind of answer that need for a really dramatic look. I'm kind of excited about that. Long story short, as a 38 year old, I realized that I really don't know how to wear makeup. I have never put it on consistently. I'm not super artistic and I'm super impatient. So I just never learned. And I'm basically watching my own YouTube videos. I'm realizing that I needed something instead of nothing. I'm definitely getting my wrinkles up here. I still have some acne and rosacea. So I recently got a new product to try from the company Subtle Beauty. And I asked them to send me um, their products to review because I felt like it was perfect for me as it was very simple, very minimalist. I love the design of it. And I was hoping to try something that was going to be a very natural look. And I will link to my review of Subtle Beauty's Beauty Stack. So here is my stack from Subtle Beauty. I really do love it. I think it is so pretty, really subtle. And it's been a really nice way for me to get back into wearing makeup. So um, I will link to my review of this product. And then um, my review that I'm gonna do today, drum roll, is the new Riveting Red Lip and Cheek Color. And look at how pretty Subtle Beauty sent me this set of the their um, five colors, including this new one, Riveting Red right here. And I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna do a little swatch on my arm of all five colors, and then I'm going to do a full face with Riveting Red. So, um, you know, thank you Subtle Beauty for working with small influencers. I have not a whole lot of followers, but I do feel like my followers are very um, responsive and really like to hear what I have to say. And I have built a, you know, a relationship of trust with them because I do not recommend, I don't, I don't recommend products that I don't really feel very good about. And so, um, I really appreciate that Subtle Beauty is willing to work with small influencers because not all of us have thousands of followers, but that doesn't mean that we don't have great things to say. This is not a sponsored post, but they did send me these products for free for my review. So um, I'm going to do my face first and then I'm going to try these beautiful, beautiful colors. All right. So this is my foundation. I use the concealer. I use the highlighter a little bit. I could probably use a little more of the highlighter. I really, really like it. it gives a little bit of a sheen, a soft kind of a sheen. Um, and I used the bronzer, which I am kind of learning on the bronzer. So this is, like I've said, like I said in my other video, I use this shine control powder at the end. 
Um, it's a very subtle look, but that is what I was wanting with my makeup. You can certainly do a heavier look if you'd like. So now I'm going to do a little swatch for y'all of each of the colors. So apparently I did this a little sideways, but here are the colors. This is mauve, dusty rose, plum, perfectly pink, and this is the new ruining red. So now I'm going to try ruining red for my eyes and cheeks. They all have a really nice soft tint and they go on really beautifully, uh, very smooth when you put them on and yeah, the colors are really gorgeous. Riveting red, here we go. So this is the finished look. It is really bold and dramatic for me, but I really enjoyed trying the brighter color on my, especially on my eyes and just blending it because it's just nothing I would have tried. So I actually think it looks pretty good and I would wear this in the future. Um, I just think I need more practice putting on makeup, but I really like these products and I think um, they blend really well and I'm actually, this is definitely the best red that I have tried on my lips. I have tried multiple reds. I've tried this um, Burt's Bees red that I thought was going to be so perfect. And it just doesn't work for me. So um, this is Riveting Red by Subtle Beauty. Again, I need some more practice applying it, but I like the results and I am going to continue to practice. I did put a smidge of gloss on, like a clear lip gloss on top because I felt like my lips were really dry underneath the red and I am going to take my hair down and I'm going to go outside and take some photos so hopefully y'all can see um, the color in natural light. But if, you know, I can get a, a good application of this product as someone who's admittedly terrible at applying makeup, if you are actually good at make, uh, applying makeup, imagine how this product might look on you. So it might be something you want to try. And if you look um, in the description, I will put a link to my original review and in there you will find a coupon code for Subtle Beauty. So, okay, I have to say that after taking some photos and, you know, kind of putting on a more glam top, which by the way, I got a Goodwill for $1 this shirt. <laughs> Y'all know how I am about bargains. After taking some photos and kind of just looking at this, I really, really like the Riveting Red. This is so out of my comfort zone, but I am really enjoying the look, especially for a night out. I am 100% gonna try this again. Um, I think my husband's gonna like it. And I'm really excited to try more uh, blending techniques with my makeup and just learn how to do it. I just really love this product. I think it looks so pretty. So I'm kind of surprised because when uh, they asked me to review the, the red, I was nervous because I've never been able to make a red product look good. And um, maybe it's because I've been watching some of the tutorials because I was like, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch some of the other tutorials for Subtle Beauty. And I was like, oh my gosh, they're it's so beautiful. So maybe I got a little bit of help with my technique because 
heaven knows I need it, but whatever it is, I just, I really like the results. I'm so happy with it. So thank you Subtle Beauty for sending me these beautiful colors. Um, I can't wait to continue to use them. I hope you enjoyed this review of Riveting Red from Subtle Beauty. And please like and subscribe for more videos, more reviews, and definitely check out some of my links in the description for uh, the Subtle Beauty review and my other channel. Thanks guys. Have a great day. I'm not even joking y'all I'm excited about this color and I can't believe I never tried a red lipstick and never would have dreamed of trying a red eyeshadow but I'm really liking the results so thanks for watching